Yeah, so scratch this one off my bingo card of things that I didn't really think would happen this year, but the Red Wings, excuse me, no, not the Red Wings, the Grand Rapids Griffins have made a pretty interesting signing today. Take a look at this, a 14-year pro, third season as a Griffin, signed to a PTO earlier today. It's none other than Justin Abdelkader. Now, this is a pretty interesting move, and it's one that I don't really think there's too much depth behind it. It's just kind of one of these moves where it's like, okay, there's a guy that wanted to play, and he signed a PTO to play in an AHL team. Justin Abdelkader is back after spending a season abroad in Switzerland and playing for Team USA at the World Championships. After taking that year off abroad, he is now back in the system. Now, he isn't technically in the Red Wing system because he signed an AHL PTO. This means that he is only under contract with the Grand Rapids Griffins and will likely only play games over there. This, at the moment, does not mean that Abdulkader will have the opportunity to play games with the regular Red Wings, and in order for that to happen, he would actually have to sign a regular contract with the team, which would be really strange. Like, can we pause just for a minute and think about this? Justin Abdelkader was one of the last Ken Holland long-term contracts that was placed onto this team. It was signed in 2015, and it went on till 2023. It was bought out earlier in 2020, and now the Red Wings are suffering that buyout penalty that goes on until 2026, wherein the cap hit varies from year to year. Right now, in 2021-2022, that cap hit is $2.3 million. So, Justin Abdelkader is still on the Red Wings payroll, and he will be until 2026. And so, just having him on a PTO with the Grand Rapids Griffins, it's very strange when you consider the impact that this player has all over the Red Wings organization, financially and just cap-wise in general. If you wanted to see what Justin Abdelkader has been up to, last season he played for the EV Zug in the Swiss League, where in the regular season he had 8 points in 9 games, and in the postseason had 9 points in 13 games. He was racking up penalty minutes like crazy, and just based off of the Instagram comments on EV Zug's Instagram page, if you go over and see all the pictures that have Justin Abdelkader in them, the comments absolutely love this guy, and they're like, oh, keep this guy around, sign him for a longer-term contract, he's a good presence to play with, and this and that, and the numbers certainly do back that up, so I'm led to believe that Abdicator had a pretty good run in Switzerland in the limited amount of time that he spent on that team. He also was the captain of Team USA at the World Championships, where he scored only one point in six games played. Not the best amount of points right there, but he was still the captain, so there indeed is some merit to his performance over there. And I saw some people going out there speculating maybe this is the Eric Stahl kind of move, where Abdulkader is going over to an AHL team because he wants to get his body ready before the Olympics. Well, unfortunately for Abdulkader, Team USA already announced their roster earlier this week, or was it last week? I forgot. And Abdulkader, unfortunately, was not included on the roster, so... Him signing an AHL PTO is likely just a move where he's like, okay, well, I kind of want to maybe play, maybe want to make some money too. And the guy's got a family as well. Being in Switzerland definitely makes things difficult when you are wanting to spend time with your folks. So I could understand him coming back to North America just in general. It is kind of funny, though, seeing him sign a PTO with Grand Rapids while he is still on the regular Red Wings payroll. But ultimately, what this means is that we'll have ourselves a veteran presence heading over to the regular Griffins, and seeing what Justin Abdicator can still do at one of the top leagues in the world is going to be pretty interesting. Last season in Switzerland was pretty good. The year before that in Detroit was abysmally bad. Three points in 49 games played. He fell off so quickly, Justin Abdicator did. I mean, I don't really think I need to go over the story here, but if you just take a look at Abdicator and the amount of production he had for the Wings, he was back in Grand Rapids in 2009-2010, so he's come Coming back to this organization for the first time in over 10 years, and in between those 10 years, he was on the regular Red Wings, getting 40-point seasons, 20-goal seasons, setting up guys like Zetterberg and Datsuk, eventually getting signed to a big contract and not fulfilling that contract after the departure of Ken Holland, getting bought out by Iserman, playing in Switzerland, and now coming back to the Grand Rapids Griffins, where he's going to be a veteran presence and likely just a guy to boost the morale of the prospects, maybe teach these guys a thing or two. Kind of reminds me of Bobby Ryan, you know? Like, Bobby Ryan technically is a free agent still, so he doesn't really have any hockey home at the moment. But the role that Bobby Ryan had with the Red Wings, I guess you could kind of say that Abdicator sort of has that with the Grand Rapids Griffins now, too. So there's the update for the Red Wings and their farm team. Justin Abdicator is back, and no, he's not back with the Wings. He has signed a PTO with the Griffins, so on top of the buyout penalty that the Red Wings are indeed paying him, he's going to be making some money on the side here. 
And I guess it's probably a better move for him family-wise than to go back over to Switzerland and play another season over there. He's not playing on the Olympic squad, so maybe there was somewhat of a desire to go back and actually lace him up. We'll see how he does when he arrives in Grand Rapids and suits up for the team. But talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Justin Abdicator and his return? I hope you enjoyed this Vitaashros 99. And bye.